All right, so we're getting a little bit hungry, so we decided that we're going to go to the Incredible Pizza Company. It is an arcade in Lafayette Square Mall. Uh, we neither of us have ever been to this arcade, so it's going to be a fresh experience for us. You know, we've been to Chuck E. Cheese, been to Dave and Buster's, been to Tilt Game Works. We know those arcades, but never been to Incredible Pizza Company. Apparently, they use like a Sokoa card system, like Brunswick Zone and Game Works. So uh, let's go ahead. Fireball. Yeah. I really like the maze layout of it. I mean, it's yeah. they really need more games to fill this bitch up. But oh, it's a freaking like motion ride game. Man. Oh, like the one we used to. Have. Yeah. Sweet. That's legit as balls. Gumbo. The other way here. Oh my, what? Oh, I bet you we can't play ticket games. Oh, fuck. Let's try out this fucking Nicktoons thing, man. Yeah. Nicktoons Nitro. Whoa! Do I have items? <laughs> okay, so we got a Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga. Galaga. Oh, got the screen. But it has a speed chip. I could be here all day. Look out, Billy Mitchell, he's coming for you. That's about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, two hours. Pizza King. Not Pizza King, Incredible Pizza. Incredible Pizza. Incredible Pizza. This place has a lot of stuff, so. A lot so, of variety. So we're gonna talk about things individually, and then uh, give it an overall score. First things first, it's called Incredible Pizza. Pizza is not incredible. The pizza is not incredible. The pizza is... Pretty terrible. Pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pizza, so it's still delicious. Yeah. But, like, for a place that pizza is in its name, I expect the pizza to be a higher quality. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese makes much better pizza than this place. Yeah, yeah. And what's sad, too, is they had a whole buffet, and they're called Incredible Pizza. Whole buffet... Littered with choices. Pizza, you got three, maybe four at best. Three. So literally, they had like spaghetti and mashed potatoes and a whole bunch of vegetables that I've never heard of. And then three different pizzas. I, I was expecting to see a greater variety of pizza. Yeah, and uh, the, the buffet was not good. <laughs> no, they had some pasta there, some spaghetti and some uh, Alfredo. And they were offensive. Like, the Alfredo made me sad. Yeah, the like, like I don't get sad. mad at food. I like food. We both like food. We're, we're but, food people. But I was offended by their pastas. Yeah, it was not good. And um, something I want to mention kind of in the food thing and generally about the whole place, service. Oh, God, service. The, service. the service was abysmal except for one guy, and I wish I got his name. He was one black fellow who was really cool. I know that sounds racist, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> one black guy. No, but it was one guy. He was 
really cool, helped us with everything, smile on his face. Everybody else either was non-existent, they didn't say hi, and the girl at the front desk was horrible. But before we move on from food, I just want to point this out, that when it came to food, I felt they had a huge variety of food, but they didn't put a lot of attention to their pizza. I think if they had a buffet of pizza and only focused on pizza and didn't waste their time with a whole bunch of other stuff, that they probably would have had a really solid offering of food. But instead, they tried to do a whole bunch of stuff and never really succeeded at any one of them. Yeah, I agree with that totally. Um, and when you operate a buffet, you have to make sure your food's kept fresh. If you offer cabbage, and your cabbage has turned brown, it's time to walk away. Yeah, it's, brown it's cabbage. Give up so and gross. Walk away. Anyways, all in all, the food, horrible. Let's move on to uh, the attractions, not the games. Um, their attractions, they had go karts, they had a, th a 3D roller coaster ride theater, um, they a had bumper, like an air bumper car. Bumper cars, laser tag. Where we didn't get to do everything. What we did get to do, the go karts were outstanding. Yeah. Wonderfully balanced. A lot of times when I got in go karts as a kid, I always felt like the damn thing was about to like, like tip on me. Yeah. Very well balanced. I did not feel scared just slamming those turns. Really fun, the go-karts. And I have to admit, the speed was really respectable for electric go-karts. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Electric go-karts and still excellent speed. The 3D theater experience was good. Um, a couple of great. yeah, a couple of the uh, a couple of their seats were broken. We didn't sit in the broken ones. It used the real 3D glasses and real 3D. As anybody who's seen it, it's real hit or miss. And honestly, I kind of felt it was missed with this one. Yeah, I f I was seeing double vision through almost the entire thing, and I have yeah. perfect 2020 vision, so there's no excuses for 3D not to work. And for, for those people who are fans of 3D, I you know I've got to wear the glasses. And I've always got double vision going on, even at the best of 3D theaters, and this just was really kind of missed. Now, I have to admit, it was fun. Yeah, it, very fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I would say that of the attractions that we we were, you know, we did, the go-karts were obviously the clear winner. Oh, go-karts were amazing. I'd come here just to go-kart. Like, it was yeah. a solid go-kart. I mean, it was just a simple circular track, nothing special, but the go-karts felt good, they felt safe, they ran well, they are just fun. Now, and we didn't get to do the laser tag because unfortunately laser tag was down, but the way that they had their laser tag set up looked pretty decent. Yep. It looked like a pretty they, they decent... Also, they also had, had, had a kind of weak putt-putt golf course as well. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so let's move on to... Oh, uh, something I want to mention real quick. Yes. Uh, in the food, they do have this kind of really nifty theater set up where you can go in and take yeah. your food and sit down and actually That's watch cool. a movie. Drawback is the movie that they were showing is probably one of the most depressing films I've ever seen in my life. So, not exactly the most uplifting thing you had. Yeah, it was a really cool game. idea because you sit down, you're in a you're in a theater, but you have booths and, and places to sit down. The the theater screen was beautiful, excellent sound, excellent movie, but it was just kind of a poor choice of movie for arcade. What was the name of the movie? Uh, it's The Pursuit of Happiness. The Will Pursuit Smith. of Happiness. Google it. You'll know yeah, what I'm talking about. It's a about. very excellent film, but it's just yeah, I would have preferred to see you know. Uh, Dark Crystal or something like, yeah. like something Tron. more Tron. Yeah, something just more wild uh, that would bring me more to the arcade experience. Okay, so moving on, we got this deal. It was for gameplay and food. It was ten dollars, pretty affordable. Yeah. But the thing is, the gameplay was time play, so it didn't work on any of their ticket and claw machines, and the place was ninety percent ticket and claw machines. Yeah, and, and I have to say, from the video game selection, there we had to, we had a, a great shot. Uh, some great footage that I hope you will see of uh, a Pac-Man machine, great Pac-Man machine. Yep. Um, found it, an interesting. Its screen was a little wonky, but it worked. Yeah. Uh, found an interesting racer, the Nick uh, Nitro. Yeah, Nick Tunes Ni Nitro. That was it was a slow racer, but it was fun. It was fun. But the video games for an arcade, for a place that puts arcade out on the front, kind of abysmal. Kind of abysmal. You know, they you, they had a million selections of Fast and Furious by Raw Thrills. I love the Fast and Furious series, but I mean, please, some variety would be nice. Yeah. You know? I mean, Raw Thrills, Fast and Furious, they're they're you know they're all cruising clones, and that's okay because I, I love cruising, I love Fast and Furious, but ah, when you have a Fast and Furious racer right next to Fast and Furious Drift, you're just like, what what are you doing? Yeah. So yeah. Um, so I would have to say in the total experience. I'd have to say it's about a three. 
a really bad three for me. Uh, the food and bad, you know, for a place that, if, you're, if your name is Mildly Successful Arcade, then yeah, you lived up to it perfectly, but their name is Incredible Pizza, and if you're not living up to your namesake, well, then what are you doing, you know? I was offended by the food, I enjoyed what games I did play, the attractions were wildly good, but at the end of the day, the arcade just wasn't what I want from an arcade. I'm going to give it a, 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 a 4 out of 10. So, so 3.5. 3.5, 3. yeah. 3.5 Incredible Pizza. Moving on to our last location tonight, we're about to head over to Laser Flash, which is open late. So let's go check that out.